Inside, I'm here with Glenn Colano. Now, Glenn has been fixing up our smart car for more years than I can remember. But you also have a bit of a hobby with this stuff. What have we got here, Glenn? This is a 100-year-old car. It's a 1921 Model T. A little rarer because this was made in Canada. Uh, Henry Ford made 15 million of these, you know, wow. different yeah. versions. Yeah. This is the, they call this the Touring because, well, you can sit three in the back, two in, in the front. Little, you know, the only, uh, the only difference uh, between the American and the Canadian uh, Henry didn't like you exiting on the driver's side, so yep. American models wouldn't have an opening door. Canadians right. have opening doors on both because uh, they would ship them you know, see. to yeah. uh, England, Australia, the Commonwealth, save yeah. money. Yeah. And then this is a, it was the, the car that it replaced the horse and buggy. Yeah, that's right. It's just like a buggy. And it's very, very simple, simple design. There's four, it's a four cylinder gas engine and easy to work on. There's no oil pump, there's no water pump, there's no air filter. Mm -hmm. It is just bizarre. Leather fan belt, crank start, you can crank them. Mm -hmm. This one after 1919, they were making two million a year. Wow. In 1919, they put an electric start, so this has an electric start, so it, you, it's pretty easy. So this is right after World War I ended, so was there a boom at that time? Yes, yeah. yeah. It was yeah. about 1914, it really took off. Yeah. He built the huge plant and, uh, you know, paid the workers more, uh, went to 24 hours around the clock to yeah. put out the yeah. two million. It's not, it's not your normal car, it has three pedals. And they're all different. It's not the, this is the gas, the throttle is up here. There's a spark advance, every hand and foot is going. Wow. The brake is on the right, the reverse is middle. It's a clutch, but you have to push it in, is on the left. This big lever does braking, neutral, and high gear. <laughs> kind of like flying an airplane or a helicopter. You got it, everything going. And But at the time it wasn't, it was easy for people to adapt. Yeah. A lot easier to learn how to start this than to uh, and run it uh, than hooking up a horse, yeah. hitching up the horse, yeah. and doing that. And all that. Yeah. Here's <laughs> the battery. You connect that up before you get going. Do you unconnect it? When well, it's... I've got. Uh, that's one thing I've got to work on. I've got a, an electrical drain somewhere, so I disconnect it. Yeah. Yeah. Just when, uh, whenever it's not in use. Good. Now it'll start. <laughs> I'll listen to it fire up. Oh, gas tank is under the seat. Really? You lift yeah. the seat, there's your gas gauge. Yeah. <laughs> you put the stick in and it tells you how many gallons you've got. Yeah. <laughs> well, that fired up pretty quick. Well, this is awesome. <laughs> and you're up so high. Yeah. It's crazy. yeah. The braking system is not the best on Model Ts. Yeah. This just puts pressure on the drive shaft. It squeezes the drive shaft. So I use this other one a lot of the time. I got it uh, eight years ago, and then um, I had a little accident with it, with the brakes being bad, and so I, yeah. then I added brakes. I had the roof, the, all of the wooden spokes replaced, and then this winter, this winter, I, uh, my friend and I worked on it, and we had to take the engine out, How did you? and we sent it for. Uh, all rebuilt 
the parts uh, came from the States. They were 810 in the U.S. delivered to my door in three days. Took a lot longer at the machine shop. They're busy these days. Yeah. A lot different than fixing a smart car. <laughs> well, yes and no.